hey, sorry about the Wi-Fi. We're we're working on it. We're doing our <laughs> thing, but let me get let me get things first. AJ, good job hosting. Pat, killing it. ESPN College, good job. Your show, Elite. Mr. Pfizer, that what I mean? Oh, geez. that is wild, right? <laughs> Journalistic I integrity, mean, Kyle. On. Jeez, Kyle. It, it, it's a little, it's a little crazy going on. I love it. The drama is on full effect. I love it. Good job, guys. Good Thank job. you, Kyle. We're in the middle of it. You're in the middle of football season again for another team, and we're thankful for your kind words and that you're back in the NFL. Anytime we're hearing KVN make a play on a Sunday, life is good. Tell me about the transition and joining the Baltimore Ravens defense, and tell me about being comfortable in there and making a massive play for them yesterday yeah I mean honestly I feel like I've been balling off the couch you know Justin Pugh you heard it off off the couch you heard it off the couch university I'm I'm part of that too so just trying to do my best just trying to put on for my family it was awesome um to get a little vulnerable uh, my son was we had a little situation with him over the summer mm. uh where he was he was down bad and so he got to travel out to london with with my wife and what a what a blessing that was it was pretty emotional for me and to be able to put on for him while he was watching and um so proud and saying go daddy and then being able to get pictures after the game it was an awesome moment for me and my family and just feel blessed to be in the situation that I'm in. Um, you know, some injuries with the guys that are here get called up, you know, off the couch university. We're back at it. Hey, happy to hear the sun's okay. By the way, that's no fun at all. I couldn't even imagine the anxiety there. Blessed to be able to hear those type of personal stories and happy it paid off over there in London. Uh, go ahead, AJ. Kyle, what's, it, uh, what's the culture like, and is it what you expected? We always see, like, hardball runs, a tight ship, disciplined team, but they seem to, like, have a great time and really get along with each other. Is that what you've seen? Yeah, you know, I, I think for me it's been kind of to sit back for a couple, like, the first two weeks and kind of see how the dynamics of the team are working and flowing. And this week I was able to, you know, crack a couple more jokes and, oh. uh, you know, show my personality a little bit and open up to some guys. And I think, honestly, that trip was a really good thing for us. Just like um, that team camaraderie of just being in the hotel with the week with the guys and being on a long flight, getting to know each other. I mean, those are priceless moments that you can't really get when you're done with football. Sorry, the guy's mowing the lawn. I mean, he's, he's killing his job, too. He's like, you guys, we're, we're, we're working. Everybody's working on a Monday. I love hey, it. Hey, we I all need it. each other. It's 100% okay. Yeah. We appreciate the fact that we're getting a chance to chat with you while the grass is being clipped. Let's talk about Lamar Jackson a little bit. Obviously, you've been around. Hey, we appreciate you. Nice. We appreciate you. Keep that thing watered down. You know, the boys need good grass. It's a big topic of conversation, I assume. That guy's a sod father in himself or a sod mama, depending Ooh. on who's yeah. running it. Um, I'm just glad we have grass out here and not turf. You know, that, that turf has been a, a, a monster this year, boy. Yeah, a lot we of people. need to get turf out of there. I'm on Von Miller, same page, and the rest of the guys have been complaining about it. I mean, Tottenham, it's an unbelievable stadium. Like, I'm actually all for having a Super Bowl out there. I think it would be honestly incredible, but got to have grass. I think we're, we're to the point where we need grass. Hey, Kyle, we will put you down in the column of wanting grass, just like everybody else. I think it's going to take place. I think it's going to take place at some point. The NFL is moving very slow. Don't want to talk about the Super Bowl in London just yet because that is a massive piece. I want to talk about the quarterback for this team that you're on now. You've been on teams with a lot of great QBs, obviously. Tom, then down there in Miami with Fitz and with Tua. Then you were with Herbert out there. What have you seen from Lamar that maybe either surprised you or reaffirms why Lamar? Lamar Jackson is the lightning rod and as talented as he is? This is a good question. Um, let me think about it just for a sec. I, I believe Lamar has grown tremendously. Um, and I, I want to be careful with this because I don't want to come off and be like I'm ha happy with where we're at as a team because I think we still can uh, be a lot better. I just think his growth and improvement at quarterbacking has taken a huge jump. I mean, so, some of the plays that I've seen in practice and then some of the plays that I've seen in the game, the timing, the touch, 
Um, I know he missed this throw yesterday, but it was incredible. He was rolling out to his left, and he kind of threw like uh, a dart across, lobbing it over defender, and it was just a tad uh, overthrown. But it was an unbelievable throw, and just him having that confidence and that timing. I know it was it wasn't a completion, but just that throw in general is just showing how far he's come. Um, in his progression, in my opinion, I think he's really taken off as a QB, uh, pass it, passing, uh, po- a pocket passing QB. And that's what I think he wants. That's what he wants to show the world. That's where he's comfortable as well. I think everybody's used to him with the highlights of running around, doing his thing with the football in his hand. And he's really incredible like that. But I think really people need to start get, what, paying attention because he's really doing a great job of delivering the football this year. Yesterday on the run, he had one where he pump fakes high, corner jumps, sidearm right in the bucket. I mean, he is flawless seemingly right now, playing his best football from the pocket with his arm. And we're excited to watch him because he's still got it. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. still got it, you know, just in case. He still it needs got to be it, shown. for sure. And in London, he's an international superstar. Connor has a question for you. Yeah, Kyle, how was the London trip as a whole? We heard last week uh, after the week five game between the Bills and the uh, Jags that the Bills were a little tired and that they maybe went over a little too late. Did it help you guys a lot going over there early? We saw Harbaugh say that he felt like he was Ted Lasso. And then we also saw, to Pat's point, Lamar realize that he actually has fans and people in London know who he is. Uh, what was that like over there? Was it a good trip? I mean, LJ's tripping to act like he doesn't know people know who he is. <laughs> I mean, you're Lamar Jackson, MVP, Action Jackson. I mean, I think it's awesome how humble he is. Uh, I got to talk with him last night. We kind of stayed up just chatting um, in the like lounge area with a bunch of us, Roquan Smith. And just getting to know these guys and how humble they all are, but how much they love football and want to continue to grow it, it's awesome. I think the NFL is in such a good place with these young superstars. And I can't believe Harbaugh compared himself to Ted Lasso. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, it is. So what's it, <laughs> hey, what is Harbaugh like? Is he uh, – Is he? because, you know, there's stories from back in the day where maybe he, Ed, Ray – sizzle yeah there was like a little bit of a moment whenever he came in and they were still ogs and the defense was doing its thing and then now though to aj's point i don't think you hear anybody say a bad word about him that plays for him what is he like behind not harbaugh's been uh, yeah harbaugh's been awesome for me i mean he's been very open communication he's he's really good with veterans i mean he's been taking good care of uh, myself and Jadavion Clowney, who's playing really good football, Big by the way. Yesterday. I think he's kind of flying under the radar. He's really putting on a number out there and really stepping up for the Ravens' defense on the edge with the couple of injuries we have. He's really playing good football. But just him, his communication skills have been awesome to me. Um, I, I can't say anything bad about Coach Harbaugh. Uh, he's been really good to me and, you know, has been – open arms for me here and same with the entire staff i think what needs to be said about the ravens organization is behind the scenes they really got it down i mean me coming in mid-year and just having the communication skills getting me places to look at to live and just being on point has been really impressive and Shout out to the people in behind the scenes at the Ravens organization. Shout out to y'all. Professional outfit over there. Jadavion Clowney wearing that 24 looks sick. Cool. And then he's, because I heard an announcer like, Clowney with the sack. I'm like, damn, I forgot Clowney was with the Ravens. And then he stood up from the pile and he's wearing 24. The dreads were still out. It was like, yup, still, that's good. Still Jadavion Clowney, yeah. always going to be that. Go ahead, AJ. Kyle, what's it been like coming in trying to to learn this whole defensive scheme on the fly? Do you have any anything from the past that you could kind of lean on? And, and what's it been like also physically? Is it what you thought you'd feel like? Uh, I think those are two good questions. Uh, good football questions, AJ. Love it, man. <laughs> um, I think for me personally, I always I'm I'm kind of like you when it comes to IQ. You you. Um, I'm confident in me learning any system. I learned it in a week. Um, I could tell people what to do. I was helping um, some guys out on certain things, which was awesome. And then, you know, for me, it's physically, I had to get my legs underneath me. It took probably until this game to be like confident, like, oh, my legs are finally with me. 
uh, the first two games. That Cleveland game was like, holy shit, from the couch to playing. I mean, this is where it's at. Uh, you had a couple reps against there. Connor. Yeah, had a couple reps against about? Connor. Yeah, off the couch. <laughs> hey, you're right. Connor did get me kind of ready, but uh, oh, Connor, Connor was kind of like, what uh, I I don't want to bring up New England because I feel bad, but uh, just Whoa. going through it. So what the hell, bro? Ahead. What was that? You're going go through ahead. it. What? You guys could have signed him back. You chose not to. And we tried to. He said no. Wow. Right. Actually, you know, this is this is kind of fun because I feel like right now I'm playing really good football, and it's kind of I'm trying to put on for the older guys that kind of get washed out of the NFL where. GMs want to go younger and they think that's the way and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to prove to all these people that are in these roles and coaches that kind of looked over me that I think y'all need to pay attention to some of these older guys. They still got it. Lombo, too. I mean, oh, shout yeah. out to Lombo. Yeah, yeah. yeah Lombo. He, we know he's watching this. He, you know he's shaking in his boots in his house <laughs> right now going over the, the film. We know it. Ty has a question for you. Yeah, Kyle, in terms of the AFC North, when like the media is talking about it, it seems like everyone's talking about the the Browns and how good their defense has been so far. Joe Burrow, you know, getting back or being back in the Bengals kind of coming on here. And then the Steelers being tied for the lead despite their offensive woes. But the, the Ravens kind of get overlooked, and it seems like people aren't really talking about you guys. And I know you said that, you know, you, there's a ways that you guys have to go until you think you'll be playing your your best football. But why do you think that is that – the Ravens as a whole who are always there are getting overlooked by everyone. I mean, let, let's keep it a buck. We've, um, before I got here, they pay, played a rookie, um, a rookie quarterback, CJ Stroud in his first start won that game. Then we beat the, I believe they beat the Bengals. We beat the Bengals. Um, that Joe Burrow was hurt. Then we lost to the Colts and Minshew, which was, not a very good loss. And then we come back and beat Cleveland with a backup quarterback. Then we lose to the Steelers. Um, not very good. And then this week we beat a Titans team that's like kind of up and down, show flashes of being good, you know. Yeah, so to me, the Lions is going to be our first true test on being a really good football team. They're five, five, and, six, five and one. Yeah, five and one. They're really good. Five, Jared man. Goff is playing. Yeah, Five and one, Jared Goff playing elite football. He's got that offense rolling. Their defense, I believe, has stopped. They haven't had a 100-yard rusher giving up one. So their defense is clicking, and Dan Campbell's done a really good job. So I think this will be the first test. And I think after this one, you know, it's going to be a good test where we're at, uh, me personally. And, you know, they're coming into our house, and, we lost the last one that was at home, and we need to respond well and accordingly. Have you been to Jimmy's Famous Seafood yet since you're signing? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm, I'm waiting for the marketing deal, you know? Uh, you yeah. gotta... oh, they are. <laughs> listen, listen. The people that run that, obviously, we are uh, big fans of. Yes. Mm. Yeah. They... Well, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I did. I, but I did, their seafood I did is the great. They gave me a, a, the best. It is their crab cakes. Obviously, crab cakes in football. That's what Maryland does. Jimmy's, more specifically. Yeah. Their crab cakes are phenomenal. Then they had these, uh, what were those things? Scallops. Scallops that we had with bacon wrapped around. Oh, yeah. They got oh, a yeah. full bakery oh, there. Yeah. They, steak. I mean, steak. They had steak and chicken for us. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. And I think they, uh, at night, they have a good time. Not saying you need to do that. But, yeah, you should stop <laughs> by the Jimmy's, folks. I think that would be a good place to get a little baptized right. in, the, in the Baltimore folk. I agree. When I show up, I'll take a picture and say, appreciate you. Be careful, though. I man. think you use promo code uh, uh, Jimmy's uh, 15. Yep. Yeah, they're they're right. 15. Yeah. Jimmy's 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. Right, 50. Right, right. They have a, they have a right. COVID cockroach parade, though, every week. Yeah, that was yeah. the issue. They potentially were the ones that started COVID. Yeah, and nobody, sons of right. nobody right, talks about not that. Talk about <laughs> so nobody ever All talks right, about I gotta, that. Is it cool if I get a couple questions for you guys? Oh, Kyle, can't wait. Coming back from London, right. I'm sure your brain is working at an all-time high right now. What's going on? Yeah, we're fried right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so with the dilemma, I mean, first of all, I just want your quick thoughts on seeing I, – I don't know if you guys have touched on it. Is Aaron Rodgers throwing without, like, just playing catch, like – 
does anybody realize how crazy that is? Like, I, I, I know I, everybody's enamored with it, and I, I know you probably have touched on it, but I, I really don't truly think people realize how crazy this is for him to, like, be recovering so fast. Like, what are – I mean, obviously, you guys know him personally. You guys know the mindset he has. Can you guys allude to, like, can we, you dive into his brain a little bit and, like, yeah. tell us a little bit of, like, what that's what he's like in that manner like so that Kyle, presence good of like stepping in a room and whatnot his aura good question because he's shown up and they've played their best football but i think it, and aj will know better than me uh i think it is the dolphins mating uh that has mm-hmm. kind of healed his achilles the fastest but it's not just him throwing and everything how casual he is putting his weight on both feet. There's no limp. There's no grimace coming from this entire thing. He seems to be way ahead of it all. And it's been a game plan since the beginning, AJ. I don't want to speak out of pocket for somebody who knows him much better than all of us, but he has thought this way since jump, it feels like, AJ. Yeah, I think from the jump, that was always his plan. And I think he's he's becoming more and more encouraged by how he's responding through it as well. So, yeah, I mean, seeing this happen and just seeing how he can slang the ball too not even have to push off anything, how, how casual he is, yeah, they – the Jets, uh, I think, I don't know. If they don't have their hopes up for him coming back, they as each week goes and we see more and more of him, they will. Can't wait to hear what he has to say tomorrow. Anyways, what's your last question, Kyle? Excited for that. That was good, hey, that was good question, hosting. That was Kyle Van Noy. My last question is for AJ. Um, with, the, with the Ohio State Buckeyes and their run that they're on right now and the coach uh, calling out Lou Holtz, is there a way to – get him to call out a couple more coaches when they win because it seems to fire them up a little bit. I like that, Kyle. Is that Ryan Day's M.O.? That would be sweet. Hey, why not? I think we got to juice it up a little bit more. I think we got to get some people to do some AI to get them going. Oh, a little Photoshop. Old legends from around college football saying, Ryan Day's a big softie. And then every single Yeah, who did you guys beat this weekend? Uh, who was it? Uh, Purdue. It was a tough one. We, we've had oh, yeah, some battles where there. it was like they, he, like, I saw a tweet someone saying, like, getting mad at, I believe, Drew Brees or something like that this week. I thought that was pretty <laughs> fun. Whatever Pye motivates the boys, yeah. you Joe know, Pye. I love just like you, pal. I'm appreciative of you joining us, and I'm so thankful you're back in the league and we get to watch you. You're the man. We appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen. Baltimore Ravens Yo. defensive end, Kyle Van Noy. Yeah. Yeah.